Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I want to explain to you how to nest the hub within the other hub. Uh, this is actually a relatively new capability we now have in SharePoint. Let me explain to you how it works. A hub, of course, is a collection of sites. So what you see right now on the screen is a hub. Essentially, it's this main hub site, and then I associated the other sites. Essentially, Hub allows um, you know you to navigate from site to site within one click. It's something that has common you know theme, common branding, as well as navigation. And um, an example of a Hub you right now see on the screen once again. It's a company internet, and essentially we have, we have this main site, and you know some other department sites. And no matter where I am. Uh, within my hub, within one click, I can navigate back to the you know main hub site or any other site within my hub. Now, this works quite well if, uh, let's say, you're a small organization, but uh, let's say you are a really large organization, maybe you know hundreds, thousands of people, and uh, one hub might not be enough, all right? In this case, you might have, let's say, a corporate hub and then maybe a hub for each and every department maybe a separate hub for HR, uh, maybe a separate hub for accounting and so on. And each of those hubs, right, let's say HR hub, uh, you know, could be its own collection of sites. So how do we tie it all together now? So we actually have this capability now where we can nest a hub within a hub, all right? So it's not kind of a flat architecture anymore if you think about it. Uh, we can now nest one hub with its own collection of sites into another hub, uh, once again, with its own collection of sites. An example could be just like, you know, I gave you right where you have, let's say, each department having their own little hub, and then they want to be part of a, you know, bigger corporate hub. So let me show you how that works. So for that, we need to navigate to the admin center. And just to make it easy for you, I created uh, these three sites, and I registered each one as its own hub, all right? So uh, obviously each of those hubs uh, could have its own sites underneath, but in my case, uh, just for simplicity, I just, uh, let's just work with these three sites, these three hubs. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to nest a level two hub under level one, and I'm going to nest level three hub under level two. All right, so they're just going to be underneath of one another. To do that, so uh, once again, you obviously create your sites, you create your hubs, which is what I did. I have three separate hubs. And let's now nest level two hub under level one. So you click the checkbox, hub dropdown, edit hub settings. And in the pop-up on the right, all right, this is where you can tweak the hub name, of course, but now you can pick another hub you want to be part of. I'm going to be part of that level one hub and I'm going to click save. And now I'm also going to do the same with level three. Level three will be part of level two hub underneath it, if you will. Uh, once again, edit hub settings and I'm going to choose um, level two. Uh, so, well, you know, I edited it probably a bit quickly. Uh, previously, but we have this new, you know, extra field parent hub association, and you just choose which, you know, hub you want to be part of. Now, you can um, actually uh, create quite a hierarchy, but you can see right here there is a warning message. Uh, uh, they recommend to you that um, you, you only limit to three levels to ensure that the search will across, you know, all the hubs, and this is really important. So the whole idea why you might want to create this, uh, you know, nested hubs architecture is because this will allow you to go to the top hub, to level one hub, and execute a global search, and it will search level one hub, it will search level two and level three hubs. And essentially what they're telling you here that while well, you can create more than three levels, the search will only be limited to three levels. All right, and I think in most organizations you can definitely get away with two or three levels at most. So we click save once again, we are going to be part of that hub. And now let's see what will happen. So let me navigate to level one hub. So uh, this is it. Now, very important to note, when we built this hub architecture, you know, multiple levels, it doesn't do anything to uh, branding or navigation. 
all right? So whatever branding you had on each of those hubs, uh, those will stay. Uh, however, uh, if you notice, uh, I'm obviously at uh, my, uh, you know, uh, my uh, level one hub, it says search across sites. Now, if I execute the search from here, it will search level one hub and obviously all associated sites, but it will also search level two and level three hubs as well, and their sites as well. So very, very powerful. One other important thing, so nothing will happen to the navigation uh, when you nest the hubs. Uh, it's not like all these hubs will be magically connected now. Uh, however, what you can do is, uh, let me show you. So I'm on level one again. Uh, once again, I have levels two and three underneath. If I click add links, all right, and if I choose this link dropdown, we now have these two options, associated hubs and associated child hubs. And it's actually, I find this name a bit confusing, but let me explain to you what they are. If I add associated hubs, it will essentially uh, add links automatically to the hubs that are directly underneath. So if I choose this option, it should add a link to level two hub. So let me do just that. So associated hubs right here, and I'm going to click OK. Look at this. It added essentially a link to uh, the hub that is directly underneath. And if I were to go to level two now, all right, let's go to level two. And I'm going to add a link from here. Once again, if I say associated hubs, all right, just like that, it will add a link to level three for us, just like that. If we proceed with the other default option, so let me edit navigation again, and we are going to add another link. So the other option would be associated child hubs. What will happen, it will actually add a link to other hubs all right, that reside on the same level that are part of the parent hub. So once again, I am on, let me just show you, so you understand I'm I'm on level two hub now, right now. So uh, if let's say there were multiple level two hubs, right? Essentially this option would add a link to all of them. So essentially this way, right? I could easily find out what are the hubs are residing on the same uh, level as this level two hub. So that's exactly what will happen. Let's edit, and uh, I'm going to click the edit button. I'm going to choose associated child hubs, and let's give it a name, just like that. Let me just promote this uh, option over here. And uh, look what happens. It adds links to level one and level two hub, essentially the hub we're on, but it also adds a, a, a link to the parent hub. So this associated child hubs option uh, essentially allows us to navigate not to hubs underneath level two, but uh, to the hubs on the same level as as well as that top level, the parent level. Hopefully that makes sense. I know it's a bit confusing, uh, but that's pretty much it. This is the ability to nest hubs. Uh, once again, the primary reason why you would create uh, the nested hubs hierarchy is because of search. Uh, again, um, just to repeat this, nothing will happen to the navigation. Whatever navigation you had set up, unless you manually change it, nothing will happen to the navigation. Nothing will happen to the branding. The only thing that will be impacted is the search experience. So this way, for example, I'm on level two. If I choose, if I, you know, search for something on level two, it will only search level two, you know, this hub, uh, as well as hubs underneath directly underneath level two, which in our case is level three. If I want to navigate to, you know, essentially search the whole thing, let's say the corporate intranet, I would navigate to level one, you know, to the top, uh, you know, hub that we have and execute a search from here. That's all I really wanted to share in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.